Investor D.E. Shaw building an activist stake in U.S. home retailer Lowe's. We don't know D.E. Shaw's specific plans for the investment, and but we do know that the firm does plan to use its holding to agitate for changes, according to people familiar with the matter. D.E. Shaw is not an obvious activist name. No, exactly. And it's uh, it's interesting. We've been chasing this story forever. Like there was this rumor that there was an activist in Lowe's. We kind of heard it from various people in the market, but we just couldn't figure out who. And D.E. Shaw is not even on the list of people you would expect to find in there. But yeah, they um, this is a fairly new thing for them. They hired someone from Elliott Management last uh. year, essentially to run their activist strategy. And this is kind of one of their first big positions that we're seeing them show up with. So it's, it's very exciting. It's obviously a new, if you like, a new entrant in the market. So. You know, we sort of Lowe's is like a second run to Home Depot. Uh, the stock's still done phenomenally well, though. It's not like this is like a you know. Sometimes you see these activist positions in companies that are really in the toilet, but not the case with uh, Lowe's. Does anyone have any theories or anything for what they would like to see done? Is this going to be one of those things where they say something about real estate or something? Uh, like you know, I don't know. I mean, Lowe's look, they, they make a lot of products that would use in the toilet, but you're right, they're not. In the <laughs> they've, they've actually they've done great recently. They're one of these companies that I think has benefited quite a lot from the changes to the tax code. You've seen that uplift in their stock. But I think there is this spread between them and Home Depot that's been identified as potentially a lever that an activist could pull and if they came to this company. They, there's, you know, their margins are, are less good than Home Depot's right. and, and yet they should trade roughly the same because obviously they do a very similar right. thing. Um, in terms of a sale of the company, I don't think that's really an option. There's no one who could come in and obviously buy them. Whether there's a breakup, whether there's some assets they could sell off or spin remains to be seen. But obviously the activist will have gone in there with a sort of fairly detailed plan of action. And I'm just looking at the top shareholders of Lowe's. Uh, Vanguard, number one. BlackRock, number two. So we're talking index funds or ETFs. And Lowe's 401k plan, number three, at 4.5%. State Street, number four. So you're talking about a lot of passive money here. A lot of passive money here. But, and we've seen this again and again and again in activism, a lot of these traditionally passive funds will sort of behind the scenes yeah. work with the activists and say, hey, your ideas aren't so bad. We don't want to be the attack dog here, but maybe we'll support you in your campaign.